What if I told you that you can build a website using just Notion? Maybe you already knew that, but what if I told you also that that page doesn't have to look like a Notion page? In fact, look at these websites, it will be very difficult to understand that this was built in Notion. But in fact, it is. And what's better about all of this is that it can be even for free and you can have the website up and running in five minutes. Wanna know how? Let's get into it. Okay, so when I was wanting to build my website, I was trying to look for a solution that was very easy to use because in the past I have used WordPress and that is such a pain in the butt. I understand if your website is a little bit more complex then it can make sense, but for the website that I was going to build, which was a blog and maybe like some testimonials, more of a landing page, very easy with a blog and etc. It was a little bit overkill. So I found super.so, which is a website that allows you to use Notion as the back end of your website and then they are going to introduce some CSS, some code to make the website look nice. This is the basis of it. So let's try to build a website together. The first thing that we are going to do is to set up the Notion page that is going to serve us as the back end for our system. So for this matter, I'm going to create a new page called Super Website. And now I'm going to write some, some stuff. Okay, so this is the, the website that I want to create. So now the only thing that I have to do is to go here and click share and share it to the web. And then we don't need to duplicate as template and just copy the link. Okay, so from the Notion site, we are done. Now we are going to go to super.so. We are gonna sign in or sign up if we don't have a, an account. And once we sign in, well, this will be empty. This is already the website that I have. So we will be able to create a new site, site name, super website. And this URL is the same Notion page that I had before. And basically that is it. <laughs> With this domain over here, we can actually see that this is already a website. Of course, it's kind of ugly. It looks like it's a Notion website, but we are almost there. So now in terms of permissions, how is this uh, actually working? So if we go back to here, we will be able to even embed a linked database. But super.so will just have access to what we are displaying within the page. So this means that in the website, we will be able to see all of these. So, but super.so will not have access to everything that is inside of here. But because for this, we will need to give it access to this database, which is in another place in Daniel HQ, Knowledge Hub, blah, blah. So we have to take that into account whenever we are building things, for example, a blog, because in the end, a blog is just going to be a filtered uh, database that appears here. But if we want that the user, whenever he clicks on an article, which could be this one, he's actually able to enter in that article, that means that the core database, not the linked one, the core database should be residing at least at this level in the super website route. Okay, we could hide the, the database in a, in a toggle and then we can hide it with some CSS, but this will be the way, okay? Because if not, it will, it will be just read only. So super so will have access to everything that is from here onwards. It doesn't matter how deep it is, but this is how it's going to work. Now, how to set up super and what is all of this that is going on? So first of all is the details. This is practically what we just set up before creating this website, the site name and the page URL. Then next is domains. By default, they assign you a .super.site domain. So this is completely free. But if you want to use your own domain, you, you will have to buy it yourself in Namecheap, GoDaddy or whatever, and then link it over here but this is already part of the paid plan that we will talk about later. But for free, you can have a domain like this. Then pages, not every page that we are going to create are going to be considered as page. I will just try to consider as page, I don't know, things that we may want to use in a header over here, so it's more easy to, to get to. Or if we have a proper page, like a blog page, where we are going to see all the articles. So I will add it as a, as a page here because we can create pretty URLs. So instead of being like this ugly thing, so it will be 
eh, bueno, superwebsite.super.site slash blog or something beautiful. Okay, so this is the way that to, to set it up. This is active by default, so this will automatically generate pretty URLs for new pages. So in theory, whenever you create a page over here, so let's say a blog page, it will already appear here. So this is quite good that Super is doing it. Next, we have the options. So here the site language, the favicon, which is this little icon over here. So this should be a square PNG icon. If you don't know how to create one, go to canva.com and there is so many ideas. In fact, I, I got mine from there. Search engine indexing. So if we want our website to be discoverable by Google, so then we enable it. Page properties. So remember that everything that we are going to be potentially showing uh, are going to be databases. So if we want the properties within each database page to be visible, then we have to enable it. But I always disable it because it looks like Notion and that's not what I want with my website. Site search, we can enable this and this little magnifier will appear. So it can allow us to search content on our website and calendar start day, which is to set when the week is going to start. I am from Spain, so Monday. So this is useful for the calendar views, just in case we have one. Then code, this, don't get frightened because normally you will just copy and paste things here. But just so you know, you will be able to edit the head, the body and the CSS. In the head, uh, we can also embed Google Analytics or whatever other analytics that they just need a little snippet of HTML uh, inside of here. So just so you know that uh, a website built this way can also have analytics. And finally, the theme. Here we can change things such as the color theme, so we can make it look different. We can add a navbar, which I personally like. So we will have to add here the pages, if we set them up before, or the URL and the, the navbar. You can see here that it's already clickable. The navbar will appear over here. We can set the color of the navbar. Well, this is pretty, pretty understandable. And finally, the custom font. So by default, it's inter but we can choose whatever, okay? Not just the three uh, fonts that Notion give us. So this is the basics of how Super works. But this website still looks like it's a Notion page. How are we going to fix that? Well, Super have a marketplace where you can find amazing templates for Super. So you can make your website look like this. Or let's say that we want a portfolio website, so you can make it look like this. This already doesn't look like it's built on Notion, right? So I will have a look here, try to find what I want, and then just purchase the template. This, for example, is $20. In fact, this is the template that I am using for my website. I will show you in a little bit later. So once you purchase it, you will go to a place like this, or well, it depends on the developer. And normally they will have a Notion template that you can already duplicate. But in my case, I will just start from this page over here. And then the only thing that you will have to do is to copy this in the HTML head. OK, so let's try it out. So let's go to the code and let's copy it. And look, it already looks much better. This already doesn't look like a Notion page. But the bad thing of this is that the ability to input code over here is just part of the paid plan. So if we really want our website to don't look like a Notion page, then we will have to pay. I will go into the payment plan a little later in the video. So what have I been able to create with Super? Well, let's save this. So I have created this simple website. This is for the digital operations agency that I am currently running. This is a very simple website with like this so landing page, the services, the latest work, book an intro call, blah, blah. You can see here that I have this nav bar with a call to action here for an intro call. And within here, we have all this information about a case that I worked with and everything. We can, of course, embed videos, like everything that Notion allow us, we can do. See the portfolio, so we can see here the, all the latest projects and everything. So the backend for this is this page over here. So as you can see, it is quite the same. We're just making it look more beautiful. So this is callouts, 
these also callouts. This is a linked database. So you can see here that I'm filtering. I mean, of course, you will have to create these properties, but I'm filtering by everything that is on main page. So whenever I set some entry within this database as on main page, it will appear here. So you can actually start to see how easy it is to modify the content on the website. It's like playing with databases and with some filters, I will be able to filter what I am going to be showing in each of the pages. And if I go here, this is exactly what you just see. You see this list over here is what I have over here, but much more beautiful. So things that I like about Super, because this is not a product for everyone. First of all, that is very easy to set up. As you have seen, in even less than five minutes, we were able to have a functioning website. That's it. We will, of course, spend more time writing the copy and, and making everything look cohesive and, and the links and everything. But to have the website set up is less than five minutes. Then, as you can see, Pages load super, super fast. I hit enter and it's here. I haven't had this experience with any of my other websites in WordPress or in Cart or whatever. In fact, we can go to my own website, which is in WordPress, and you can see that is a little bit slower to load. Another thing that I like is that it is very easy to get started because you have a lot of templates, so you don't need any code whatsoever. Well, yes, you need to copy and paste, but I can guarantee that for most websites, all these templates are going to be more than enough. And finally, I had a little problem with some piece of code because I wanted to, to customize it a little bit more and I didn't know how to do something. So I contacted support and in less than 24 hours, I already had the answer and they even modified my code for me. So I didn't even have to do anything. So that was pretty amazing. I love when SaaS products such as this one, software as a service, have a good customer service. So now what would I use Super for? For example, one of the best uses would be for having a blog. For example, this is my friend F from Australia and she, all of this is created in Super. So. Here we have her articles and here you have all the articles that she has written. And as you can see, this is basically a database. So it is amazing for creating blogs very easily. Another thing that I will use Super for will be to create simple looking landing pages. For example, we can take this one as a landing page. So it is as easy as writing all of this here, buying a template, putting the code there and you are good to go. And finally, I think it's also very cool to use it as a portfolio showcase. So let's say that you are a designer and you have here all your work, your LinkedIn, your resume, where you have spoken at, like where you have been endorsed and everything. And I'm sure that this didn't take so much time to create. But now what wouldn't I use Super for? I would never use this for an e-commerce website, uh, a website that is selling a lot of products and that the main objective is to sell products. I would use WordPress and Shopify for this, which is more cutter to the outcome. And basically I wouldn't use this for websites with any logic. So this means that our websites, such as, I don't know, a social network, something that needs some processing on the back end to then give information to the, to the user. So I would just use it for simple website that is just reading information and that is it that there people cannot log in into it people cannot create accounts people yes that is just a front-facing website with information and finally let's talk about pricing the pricing is very easy it is either free but you will not be able to have your own domain so you will always have a super dot site domain and you will not be able to custom the code so your website will look more or less like a notion page for me those are the two main features that you are going to be losing in the free plan but if you upgrade to the premium plan or however they call it it is 12 dollars per site per month so this will give you the possibility to have your website with your own CSS or HTML and your own domain. If we compare it to a normal hosting company, I think I was paying to, to SiteGround almost 11 euros per month for my dannycanosa.com. So in the end, it's not that big of a difference because now I'm paying also 11 or 12 to Super. So it's practically the same. And my final thoughts for Super, this way of having a, a blog and having a website and everything, I think it cannot get easier. It is just writing on a Notion page and that's it. You just set one property that you set as completed or as posted or something like this. And then with filters, that's it. You have already published in the blog. So this has made things so much easier for me. And even it's making me want to actually write in the blog as opposed to when I was using WordPress, which is 
such a pain in the ass as I said before. But conversely, I have to admit that Super is not for very complex websites. As I said before, just for information-based websites, it's okay, but if you need something more complex, then probably this is not for you. So if you want an easy website that is blazing fast, it works well with SEO, and that is super, super easy to modify, then go ahead. Super is going to be your best friend. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video to join Super and also to download the template that I am currently using for my website, just in case you liked how it looked. And I hope that this video was helpful for you to get started with creating your website with Notion. So that is it for my side, guys. And as always, hasta la próxima.